Hello, welcome to another Korean grammar lesson in a minute. And today we're going to learn how to say you have to do something. Have to eat, I have to sleep, I have to go. You just conjugate the verb and you add ya hada or you can add ya dueda. Okay? And um, they're pretty much the same. Like I said, add it after a conjugated verb. And it just means the action must be done. Hada, what I've been told is hada is slightly more uh, strong than dueda. But, you know, in, in my experience, it doesn't really matter which one you use. So, Let's try some examples. Hada means to do. How do you say you have to do? First, you conjugate hada, becomes he. And then you conjugate, sorry, you add ya hada and conjugate as well, becomes ya heyo. Have to do it. And I didn't put a subject because, you know, honestly, I didn't put one. So we don't know what the subject is. Who has to do it? We don't know. Uh, mokta. Mokta means to eat. Conjugate that, becomes mogo. And then ya dueda, ya dueyo. Have to eat it. Okay? Um, this is not a typo. Dueda, when it's conjugated, uh, the spelling changes, but the sound is the same. Okay? And look at this. Heyo, dueyo, it does not even matter. Both of them mean you have to. Okay? Let's look at a few more examples. Suda, when you conjugate it, becomes so, and it means to write, or uh, could also mean to use. So, you have to use it, you have to write it. Soya heyo, or soya dueyo, whatever you want. Juda means to give. When you conjugate it, it becomes zhuo. You have to give it to me. Okay? Um, and one more thing is, yo, you don't have to put it. Right? This dueda or this hada, you can conjugate any way you want. So you can say joya due, which is slightly more um, casual. Right? And the kada, I switched it up here a little bit. I put, instead of saying um, kaya dueyo, which means I have to go, I put kaya tessoyo. It becomes past tense. The sangshi makes the verb that dueda past tense. So, I had to go, okay? So just showing you some um, uh, variations that you can use with this grammar item. So I hope you get it. It's a pretty simple and very uh, useful grammar item. And practice it a lot. And I'll see you next time. 다음에 봐요.